Which came first, the chicken or the egg? It's an age-old question, and we can't give you the definitive answer, but we can take you to a hatchery to see how baby chicks are bred. It's the first step in commercial chicken farming, or the second step if you think the egg came first. Chicks come from eggs fertilized by mating, but a hen can lay eggs without mating. Those unfertilized eggs are the ones we eat. The fertilized ones go to the hatchery three or four days after being laid. Hatchery workers transfer the eggs onto special trolleys, then roll them into the incubator, where the temperature and humidity level mimic natural conditions. The egg yolk, egg white, and shell all nourish the embryo. Every hour, the trays shift 45 degrees to the opposite side and back, simulating how hens turn their eggs while waiting for them to hatch. After 18 and a half days, the eggs come out of incubation and go on to a conveyor belt. They pass under an infrared sensor that detects any whose color is too transparent. These are unfertilized eggs that slip through. The sensor triggers a suction device to remove them. They go to a rendering plant to become animal feed. The fertilized eggs continue along to the next station to be vaccinated against Marek, a poultry disease. Automated needles pierce a hole in each shell and inject the vaccine into the amniotic fluid surrounding the chick. Now a suction device transfers the eggs to hatching trays, 168 eggs per tray. About 150 of them can be expected to hatch. The rest died in incubation or have physical defects. Day 19. The chicks use their beaks to crack a hole through the shell, then a horizontal line all around. After six to eight hours, the chicks finally emerge from the shell. They're covered in short feathers called down, and they're able to walk and see. After about four hours, their down has dried. Now workers roll the chicks to what's called the separator, a machine that separates the birds from the shell halves. The shells are larger than the chicks, so they stay on top while the chicks fall down to a conveyor belt below. The shells, which are high in calcium, go to a rendering plant. The chicks move on to be classified according to gender. Workers put the females down one chute, the males down another. They determine the sex by checking two rows of feathers. If one row is shorter than the other, the chick's a female. If the rows are the same height, it's a male. Each chute feeds a separate conveyor belt. An optical counter tracks the number of males and females. The chicks now fall into specially designed transportation boxes, 102 chicks per box. Some clients request that their order of chicks be vaccinated against bronchitis. Those boxes pass under an aerosol sprayer that sprinkles them with a mild dose of vaccine. Poultry farms raise chicks for either meat or eggs. Females used for egg production begin laying eggs at about 20 weeks of age. For meat production, females reach slaughter weight in about 38 days. Males, depending on market size, take from 40 to 65 days.